Your results were inconclusive. That's impossible. It's not impossible. It's just extremely rare. You're able to control and conquer your fears. They call it divergent. You don't fit into a category. They can't control you. You have to hide inside a faction to survive. Hello, I'm Ted Bear, publisher of MovieGod.org. And I'm Evie Bear. Now, Divergent, the book was written by a Christian, but how's the movie? The movie has some of the Christian content. It's very moral, it's very biblical in many different ways. It's about a dystopian world in the future. That's what dystopian is. It isn't utopian, it isn't good, it's a little bit bad. In Chicago, they've divided the city into five different parts. So the people that are selfless, and Beatrice is part of the selfless. But when she goes for a test to find out which part she should live in as she grows up and leaves her family, she finds out, uh-oh, she's a divergent. That means she doesn't fit in. That means they got to get rid of her because she's going to destroy the whole society. So there's some romantic content. There's some other stuff in it. Divergent is a movie you should go to movieguide.org and find out the rest of the review. That's right, movieguide.org. Don't get me wrong. There's a certain beauty in your resistance defiance of categorization, but it's a beauty we can't afford. <laughs>